Welcome to Cape Fear Gardening. We're in front of a spineless variety of prickly pear cactus this week. I wanted to highlight some of its uses in the landscape and some of the things you can do with it in the kitchen. This variety of prickly pear cactus is actually spineless. It's in the genus Opuntia, and there's many species in the same genus. They're all edible, which is really neat. Prickly pears make a great addition to any xeric garden or any other type of cactus garden. The fruit is edible, the paddles are edible, and there's a lot of different recipes you can use in the kitchen to make some good edible dinners. Right now, our specimen is flowering. Those flowers will turn to fruit. Once the fruit is a deep red and easily twisted off, it's ready for harvest. You'll want to peel the skin off, and it's a bright, fleshy, red fruit that almost has a kiwi or melon taste, and some people almost describe it as having the fiber texture of a pineapple and the edible seeds the same as a raspberry or blackberry. The paddles themselves are easily harvestable. They can be grilled, boiled, or sauteed. When you go to saute these, you're gonna to wanna to treat them like mushrooms where you're gonna to try to cook off as much of that moisture as you can. So a lot of folks call these cactus paddles or in Latin cuisine, they're called nopales. Some popular dishes you can make for nopales are a salad some tacos, or even just grilled with some fresh olive oil or your favorite cooking oil. So the paddles themselves, or the nopales, have a texture of green beans, kind of that squeaky squishy, and almost a little bit mucilaginous or kind of mucusy. The longer you cook them, the more that mucus cooks out, but it's all edible and it's all good for you, high in fiber. To harvest the paddles, all you need to do is grab firmly and twist until they break off. After that, you'll want to scrape off any of these would-be spines and they're ready to throw on the grill. So I hope you consider this plant for your home landscape. It has a lot of uses, it is unique. It can get big, but it's a lot of fun. Until next time, keep gardening, Cape Fear.